Hey, it's Dorlene. Welcome to my channel. Today is day three of my masculine card series. I'm doing one week of masculine cards just for the fun of it. Um, so what I decided to do is I was going to stamp this um, motorcycle. And the reason why I use my Misty is because I really wanted a dark impression. And a lot of times if you have to double stamp, of course, the Misty helps. Well, I realized after I used one time, it was dark enough for me. So I really didn't need it, but that's okay. Misty really does help with placement. And you can see that I have kind of a little um, wonky looking uh, base for this motorcycle and it fit perfectly there. So I wanted to add like something for the motorcycle to sit on or ride on, which I just did a really light um, watercolor pencil black and now I'm using a water brush to just kind of spread it around a little bit again nothing nothing fancy just to add a little bit of color and some um, fun to that image I do add some blue to the top part but I don't show it um, I decided to use a black card base <clears throat> <clears throat> and then I went and I went to my paper scraps, grabbed some grays because I really wanted to keep this very neutral. And I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. So I was kind of glancing at it and just taking my guess on what I think would look best. I really, really like the star paper, but I decided that white needed a little bit of an edge. I didn't want to mat, uh, mat it with black, so I just used a little bit of black ink and inked around the edges. And that gave it enough of a uh, mat if you want to call it that to distinguish between where that label or that shape starts and ends versus the pattern paper so i go ahead and cut that down just using my um, desktop guillotine which i've had forever matter of fact this is probably one of the first tools that i bought when i first started um, with creative memories uh, you know back in the day but um, anyhow so i cut it down to four by five and a quarter and um, I'm going to just put it on the card like this and I'm kind of looking at it and then I think uh, seems a little boring what do I want to do differently I had that dark gray that you see over there on the right and I really like it too because it's very um, grungy as well and I think that grungy looks good with the motorcycle stamp <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me you can already probably tell that I'm not feeling well but um, anyhow, I have this cough that's just lingering. So I was going to cut it or um, attach it just like halfway. And then I thought, oh, a diagonal would be better. But unfortunately, I cut it. So I couldn't keep the diagonal or I couldn't um, do it halfway like I was thinking. But I just put some glue on that top half or that top, top corner and um, and then just placed it on there. And I just did it as well as I could. Um, I wasn't worried too much about um, how much of that darker gray was going to be on there. And I just used some regular scissors just to cut it off. And I just used the star paper as, um, you know, my guide on where to cut it. <clears throat> Super simple, no problem. Go ahead and throw out those scraps. And um, so now I'm loving it and I'm thinking, yep, love it. And over on my desk now... I don't know about you, <laughs> but I got crap everywhere on my desk, even when I clean it up, but sometimes it's a good thing. So I found this little piece right here, which I used at, for some project, trimming off some black, and it just happened to be perfect as far as the width. So I added it right there on where the two papers meet, and it just gives a really nice border. So I'm not mad that I keep a lot of paper scraps and stuff on my desk, but you know how it is. Sometimes you really just need to get through and clean it. Um, but anyhow, so look at that. I really do like that. Like I said, it really distinguishes between the two papers and it just adds an extra something. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down to the card base because I love it and I think it looks perfect. I have been liking to use liquid glue because it does add or allow for some movement when you first glue it down. So I really like that. So originally I was going to put that motorcycle up there and I really like that placement and I was going to do a happy birthday in the bottom. And so <clears throat> as I'm doing that, I realize I smudged it. And you're going to see that in a minute. But I'm so upset with myself. But you know what? That's okay. Um, I do have these. Um, they're not even brads. They're kind of like enamel dots as far as adhesive. They're just flat backed. And um, I was going to put a star on two sides. And then I thought, no, it didn't really leave me a lot of room. So I just put one right there in that bottom. And I thought that one little piece, I really do like it. It's just enough to um, add a little bit of something, but not make it too frilly. And I'm making masculine cards and I don't want them frilly. So I went ahead and put some three-dimensional foam adhesive on the back. <clears throat> 
and I'm going to plop it on there. Like I said, I wanted it a little bit up higher. And then I mentioned earlier that I saw a smudge of ink um, right there in the where I just pointed. So now I have to put that motorcycle a little bit farther down than I had first anticipated. And now I'm thinking, okay, where am I going to put the the sediment. So I do decide to put it on the diagonal. I have these really fun kind of over the hill sentiments and I thought this was, you know, my <laughs> my friends unfortunately or I don't know, fortunately, we're all, you know, we're all getting up there in age. So it's always fun to have like a just kind of like an age, <laughs> like a make fun of your age card. And this one says age is just a number which I stamped in the front. And then the inside, it says something like yours is unlisted. And, uh, you know, that's good for, you know, anybody over 30, really, I guess. So I just stamped it directly onto the cardstock. And luckily, I got a really good impression. And I really like it. And then because it's a black card base, I cut a car piece of white cardstock to put in the inside which I would do anyways and then I just cut it down <clears throat> and then place that in the inside with that second half of that sentiment now um, again just using some liquid adhesive so anyhow I hope you like this please give me a thumbs up if you do uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post at least two videos a week one is always scrapbooking but this week I'm doing this masculine card series so I'll be doing everyday card uh, masculine card video um, for this week and um, I'll try to throw in a scrapbooking one because I always say that I do at least one scrapbooking video during the week as well. I did put some splatter and if you notice this is silver you can't really see it through there. I mean you sort of can but it really kind of absorbs as it dried. Now off camera I did put some white splatter and you'll see that when I show you the picture at the end but please make sure you like this uh, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. All information will be down below in the box. Thanks for watching. Bye.